What's up guys? Today we're going to check out Borderlands on 4K UHD. I'm not here to talk about how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot in 6.5 and 4.5K. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated PG-13. Runtime is 101 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 to 1, so there are black letterbox bars. And the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Before we take a look at the audio and see how active this mix is, if you don't know what the Atmos viewer is, you can find a link down below in this video's description that tells you all about it, what it does, and where to get it. You can also find a list of all the gear that I use for these 4K reviews down there as well. Now, I had just seen this movie a week or so ago before watching it at home, so it was still pretty fresh in my mind what it was like at the cinema, and this seems to be the exact same experience as when I was there. The audio mix stayed busy throughout the entire movie, which means all of your speakers will be making noise almost all of the time. Here at 25 minutes in, we have one of the biggest car chase scenes in the movie. And as you can see, it's a really active mix. Now, despite having vehicles moving from front to back, left and right on screen, you would think that you would hear them move off screen to the corresponding speaker, but that's not the case for most of this really big action scene. There's even flying ships that should be flying in the top speakers, but again, the audio stays mostly in the front stage. What we are hearing though is a lot of music playing through the top and bottom channels mixed with some ambiance. I did hear a truck move off the screen maybe one or two times, but again, most of the action did remain in the front three channels. At an hour 25 minutes, there's a shootout with some okay lower channel directivity with some gunshots coming from different lower channel speakers with a ton of action music playing in the top speakers. Where I think this mix shines is going to be with the non-action parts. At 3449, there's some excellent ambiance at the street market scene, so you'll hear people talking and walking by with music playing coming from way off in the distance. At 48 minutes, there's a scene that takes place in the sewer, so you'll hear a slight echo which makes the scene sound really big. And again, with most of these non-action parts, the soundstage is really spacious with a surprisingly good amount of detail. Now, even though I didn't find the audio to match what was happening on screen most of the time, the bass picks up the slack with a bombastic, hard-hitting LFE track. The explosions and gunshots sent waves of bass through my theater, and the one thing that I didn't hear at my local cinema was how deep this mix dropped. Whether it was bass drops from the musical score or the ships crashing from overhead, my subwoofers got a really hefty workout, and the dialogue always remained easy to hear. And thank you to Cloud Escape for supplying me with this copy of Borderlands so I can bring you, the home theater movie loving community, this 4K review. Now, if you want to get your movies weeks and sometimes months before they come out on physical media, consider getting yourself a Cloud Escape at our channel partner, Dream Media. Links can be found down below in this video's description. As for the video quality, this is one of those movies that you will find playing at your local Best Buy, which will show off how sharp and colorful a 4K HDR display can look. This might be the 4K crispiest transfer that I've seen this year. And despite them trying to make Kate Blanchett look like she's in her 20s, you can still make out some of those really fine wrinkles around her eyes and even the peach fuzz on her cheeks. The costumes are so clean and textured, you can count the fibers on jackets and shirts. And even though there's some very obvious green screening going on, the digital effects were equally as clean and pristine as the real life elements. The HDR was also a standout. This movie is going to show off how bright and colorful your display can get. I'm going to put this right up there with Aquaman. It's bold, it's vibrant, and the colors just pop off the screen. The specular highlights have plenty of sparkle, and the black levels didn't crush any shadow details down low. It's a fantastic looking transfer, and for sure, demo material for your home theater. If you don't like film grain, you're gonna love the way this movie looks. So I'm gonna go with a 10 for video. For audio, this actually sounded better than what I heard at my local theater. I didn't think the surround effects always followed what was happening on screen, but I was always immersed in a bubble of sound and the bass could get punishing at times. It's a fun, fully active Atmos mix, so I'm going to go with a 9 for audio. So what are your thoughts on Borderlands in 4K and did you actually see it? Leave a comment and let me know. Now if you do want to pick up this movie, I will leave some links for it down below in this video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media, and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again in the next one.